Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Chenovsky here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Mad Viking Games. First off, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor. If you are investing, it's your decision, it's your choice, so do your own research. Next, if you do like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button, it really does help. Last, I want to say thank you so much to this community. Mad Viking Games community, Mad V Apes, V Fam, everyone out there. Thank you so much for your support, it really doesn't go unnoticed. But without further ado, let's dive into this video. So today what I want to talk about is the development update number 12 that Mad Viking Games provided for us on their Reddit. Mad Viking Games does this development update every Monday, and it's something that the community looks forward to. So let's dive in and talk about what they gave us. So in this first paragraph, uh, Mad Viking Games really talks about how in the open world they were still working on the same aspects as they were working on the previous week. They were talking about implementing water systems, swimming, and other stuff like that. So they were just reminding us that they are still working on those systems. Now, that is not a bad thing. I believe that is actually a good thing because it shows that they're just not rushing through creating these water systems and the implementation into the game. Water is a massive part in the Norse mythology lore and in the Viking mythology and it's, I believe, going to be an important aspect of the game. And it's something that I don't want them to rush. I don't want them to say one week they finish the water system and then the next week they're working on others. I'm okay with them taking two, three, four weeks to work out these water systems, especially because it's for the open world game, which is coming out in 2023. So they need some time to work on that. And I'm glad to see they're taking the time to make sure it's done right. Okay, so the open world game, they're still working on the stuff that they talked about previously. And to me, that is not a bad thing. I personally am looking for quality, not speed. So glad to see they're still working on that stuff and hammering out the details. Now, in this first paragraph, they do talk about the turn based game. They talk about how it's work moving along nicely and that they're starting to implement the final features of the game mechanics to make the game fun, competitive and challenging. Now, the turn based game is coming out in quarter two of this year. And so we should be seeing some of those finalizing uh, implementations for the game in these development updates, which is what they're talking about, right? So good stuff to see, um, but let's dive into the finer details of uh, the bullet points they provided for us in the development update. So for the open world game, which again is coming out next year, they said they're working on the implementation of water systems, good. They're talking about the development of swimming systems, good. Rigging of character models, awesome. Now character models does not mean necessarily the NFT characters, everybody. We've heard that they have those done. These character mo and they're just fin finalizing them, right? The character models can mean NPCs, enemies in the game. It can mean a number of different things inside that open world game. So don't think, oh my God, they're just finishing up the NFT characters, right? Or working on them. No, they have those. The Gen 1 characters are waiting to be released. They keep talking about how amazing they look. They're just waiting for those partners. So they're just talking about other type of character models, and it can mean a number of different things. Now, implement implementation of the characters in the game engine. Well, as I said, they do have the Gen 1 characters already created, and these Gen 1 characters are going to be used in both games, so they can test some of these characters out in that game engine. Now, optimization for better performance in the world, good. They're just trying to make sure everything runs smoothly when they do implement it, which is something that we like to see, right? So, in the open world, they're working on those, op those water systems, which play a massive part, again, in those North mythology and Viking mythology storylines. And I really want them to make sure it's done right because one of the main characters in Ragnarok and the start of it in Thor's nemesis is Jormungur. And I hope that we get to fight that person, right? Or that uh, serpent, right? That's Loki's son. And they do put Jormungur in the um, actual shields in the banner that they provided to us before and they did do some lore on that character earlier this week when they were talking about the game lore so um this water to me is going to be important and again i'm glad to see they're trying to do it right and not rush it 
Now let's talk about the turn-based game. So the turn-based game, they said last steps in development of the mana system. Good. We really don't know too much about mana. We kind of talked about stamina and character respawns and stuff like that in the AMA with them. But we do not really know too much about mana. It is something new that we heard about in the past couple uh, development updates. And hopefully if we get a future AMA, we can find out some more uh, about how it's going to be used. Because we heard stamina was going to be used as some type of trigger mechanism to do abilities. So I'm wondering what mana is going to be. Full imp implementation of the mana system. Good. So they've uh, fully implemented it into the game. And now they said started the development of the experience system. Now, to me, what that sounds like is like we're going to have leveling up inside the turn-based game. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean leveling up your Gen 1 character? Does that just me mean uh, leveling up your account? Um, I'm not too sure exactly what they mean by experience system. This is the first time we've ever heard of that, and that's awesome because it gives players goals to reach. Right. If we have a Gen 1 character that starts out at level 1 and we know in the turn-based game we can level it up to level 30, 40, 50, or 100, or whatever they choose, that's something that's going to be exciting because we might be able to transfer those levels over to the open world um, in our own manner. Um, personally, I don't want us to be able to get any advantage in the open world game from the turn-based game, so I'm hoping that the experience system is more per game, right? My account, let's say Chunovsky account in the turn-based game got to level 50 because it completed all these quests and tasks. That's personally what I would rather have. I don't want to have the level 100 Gen 1 character joining the open world game and getting this massive advantage. And I don't think that's what it's going to be because they've mentioned multiple times that these NFT characters are not going to give you advantage in the game. So, um, so cool stuff, experience system, can't really wait to see how that turns out. Player interface design, right? Um, that's going to be how players interact with the game and stuff like that. So they're really finalizing that. They've talked about that in past uh, development updates. So as we're getting closer and closer to the finish line, we're going to see more and more of that stuff. Design and textures of assets and their implementation into the game. Um, assets can mean a lot of different things. Assets can mean mountains, landscapes, could also mean the cards that they talk about, could be potions, could be mana pots, could be all different types of things in the game. Assets is a very broad term that could be really speculated in a lot of different ways. Okay, so um, good stuff so far from what I've seen in this development update. A lot of things that uh, we were kind of hoping to see. Some more improvement in the water so we can make sure that's done right. And we really are uh, happy to see, at least I am, that they're starting to do the finalizing process of the turn-based game to get ready for beta. Again, we are sitting in the middle of uh, quarter one actually getting to the back half and we are going to be expecting to see the beta release sometime in quarter two now i want people to remember and i want to say this as nice as i can that if the beta is released in quarter two that does not mean april 1st that we're going to have the beta release Personally, I'm thinking towards the end of quarter two. I'm thinking more along those June lines. Um, but for some reason, whenever people hear quarter two, they believe April 1st, they're going to get this major announcement. Be prepared for that not to happen and for it to come in the later of quarter two. That's what I'm prepared for. And that's what I'm waiting for. Anything before that is a plus in my mind. Okay. But Enough of that, let's talk about what they provided us with some pictures. So Mad Viking Games provided us with some more uh, screenshots of what's going to look like inside the game. Now, these renderings look really amazing so far. Um, you can see how well they're taking time to work on these uh, 
cliffs, these characters. You could see a nice little stairway going through, right? It does seem like maybe they need to work on some of the shading a little bit. Um, it does look a little teal. I don't know, maybe that's meant to be because there's something reflecting that color on there. I don't really know, but it does seem like it's still a work in progress, and this is for the open world game that's coming next year. So there should still be some progress that needs to be made. But they did show us a nice staircase to this cliff, and I wonder where that's going to lead us. Maybe that might lead us to some dragon that we need to fight that we saw in that teaser they sent out in December. But good stuff here. I like the quality of it. You can even see the details to try and get some little plants within these little crevices and things like that, and can't wait for the final product. Now, they also showed us this beautiful scene that looks like it's almost finished, right? I think it might be finished. There's some XY stuff here and everything. Maybe they might add some more flowers in here. You could see some blue flowers, white flowers, and some yellow stuff, right? But this looks like a beautiful scene that almost looks like it could be in real life. There, it looks like you could just walk right out into this open world. You could sit down, put up a lawn chair, and just look over this beautiful scene while sipping your coffee, right? So this stuff looks amazing. What they're providing us is some hot, good stuff. Um, it's not that in-game teaser of us playing a character in the game yet. Um, we are still waiting for some NDAs to clear from the partners to show us those Gen 1 characters. Just remain patient. They did say quarter one. There was that little debacle of letting us know that it could happen at the end of January. And it still hasn't happened yet. But remain patient. The original plan was quarter one anyways. And they got a little antsy. Alright. Good stuff Mad Viking Games. Love the development update. Uh, keep this content coming. Hopefully we could see more and more releases this week. And... We could see um, the more development as time goes on. I'm excited. Uh, I hope you all found this helpful. Um, I enjoyed this development update. I love to see that the turn base is getting closer and closer to finish. I love the experience bar stuff. Um, gonna be fun to see in the future. If you did like this content, please hit that subscribe and like button. It really does help. Last, before I go, I wanna remind everybody I am doing uh, a Twitter space on February 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, please stop on by. We'll be talking about Mad Viking games and other stuff uh, within the V-Chain ecosystem. Hopefully talk about some Mad V-Apes, uh, Metaversals, and all that good stuff within the ecosystem. I hope you all had a, have a great day, week, month, and year. And until next time.